If a face could have cancer, it would look like Olga K's face without makeup. What's up you guys? Today we're going to be talking about the infamous Onision. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoy it, and to also subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Also remember to drop some suggestions in the comments on who or what you want me to talk about next. First, let's talk about the fact that Onision loves to tell people whether or not they should gain or lose weight. Despite not having any health credentials or having any education in medicine, he still thinks that he has a say in other people's health. Onision has made excessive, excessive amount of videos about people like Eugenia Cooney. Not only this, but he actually started to make videos about Shane Dawson too, telling him that he needs to lose weight, and he's acting like if Shane doesn't do something now, then he's gonna like spiral downwards and become obese and die. If you just watch his videos, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But if Onision actually watched Shane's videos, then he would know that the reason that Shane stopped doing a lot of food and eating videos is because he gained weight and he's trying to lose the weight. But again, if Onision doesn't have any credentials, he shouldn't be telling other people what they should be doing with their health and with their weight. Now let's discuss his videos where he rates women. I mean, he has a whole forum where he gets women to send in pictures of themselves so he can judge the way they look. And a lot of the time he's really rude, and I don't want to hurt his ego or anything, but has he looked in a mirror at all? First off, I will say that you look like my ex-wife. Secondly, I'd rate you a 5 out of 10. Here they are. When you have braces, probably not a full tooth grin. That's not necessarily great. So maybe also work on your lighting. You're kind of overexposed. This person's like a 6 or whatever out of 10. That's one way to write Onision on you. You have a very big face. It's very face delicious. I'll say 6 out of 10. We got another 6 out of 10. This person freaks me out. Another full tooth grin, braces mouth. Ugh, guys just should not do that. But you know what I think is even more sad? is the girls who sent in their pictures to be rated by Onision. Like, who even is he to rate you? Like, what does it really matter what Onision thinks of your appearance? He's literally no one in your life. Now let's talk about the fact that he makes rape jokes. Let's talk about how not funny rape is. Uh-oh. Controversial video. Rape isn't funny. Not even if a seven-foot-tall man walked in this room, bit me over this desk, and started pounding my butt right in front of you guys. It still wouldn't be hilarious. And then he talks about rape like he's some kind of advocate for women. Hundreds of thousands of women are victimized every single year. And one of the biggest reasons why this problem exists is males clearly not caring about what women feel, what women want, and the rights women deserve. I also find it quite hilarious that he says hundreds of thousands of women are victimized by sexual assault each year, but then he proceeds to show a fact that says sexual violence affects millions of Americans, not just women. Everything he said just pissed me off to the max because he makes it seem like all men are rapists and all men don't give a shit about what women feel when not all men are like that. He's basically blaming all men for the actions of a few. And he fails to talk about the fact that men can be victims of sexual assault as well. Now let's move on and talk about how he literally exploits his relationship to the public for views. Get the camera off of me, I swear to God. He has a camera on me! He has a camera on me right now! Get the camera off of me! Why do you have a camera on me? Okay, thank you. Get the camera off of me! What would you like us to do, sir? You call. Um, I called my sister and she told me to just leave. To just move away. That's I mean, this probably is, this a good is, idea. Yeah. Um, but here's the weird thing. Um, I, I can't stop paying utilities here. I can't. I can't shut it off because that would be an illegal eviction, according mm -hmm. to the people I talk to. Yep. Isn't it a little hypocritical how he advocates for women so much and for sexual assault? Yet when his ex-wife says no to him recording her, he doesn't listen and continues to do it anyways. He said himself that men don't care about what women want and how they feel. Yet, it just goes to show how much he's being a hypocrite right now because he obviously doesn't care how his wife feels or wants, considering when she tells him to stop recording her, he doesn't listen. 
The last point I'm going to make is that he's just plain rude. Just take a look at some of these clips. Boom! Now you're all zitty. That's hot. No! <laughs> wow, that's a really strong jawline you have there. Are you by chance? Oh, I see. Okay. <gasps> Hey, are you freaking out right now? We're gonna search for YouTubers without makeup. Here we have Brittany Louise Taylor. She's still f***ing hot. Uh, not in person though. If you've ever met her, she's like seven feet tall and she has that horse teeth condition. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. It's not pleasant. So, you know, sometimes pictures are misleading. Holy sh look at all her f***ing zits. Oh God. Even worse, look at her teeth. <laughs> makeup can cover up those zits, lady. But makeup will not fix those donkey teeth. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She looks okay. I mean, with makeup on. Without makeup, she looks kind of gross. I said it before. I'll say it again. She looks like a god Mormon. And I don't like Mormons because they don't suck to Oh, look. It's diarrhea face. Did I say diarrhea face? I'm sorry. That was rude. I meant to say diarrhea face. Now, that's all I have to say about Onision. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. And don't forget to comment in the comment section below what you want me to talk about next or who you want me to talk about next. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Things I say, you guys call me a bully, obsessed, and jealous. But you forgot one thing. You see, when I make a normal chill video, I get around 100,000 views. But when I make a crazy dramatic video, I get around a million views. And when I get a million views, I get more attention, more subscribers, and more profit.